Jones on your right, Brandon Angel. We'll open it up for questions. <sighs> Yeah, just for both of you guys, just kind of uh, general, just kind of general thoughts on this one. You guys made some runs. You guys were able to kind of close the gap a bit of time, but every time you did, they finally want to push you away. Just kind of why were they able to fend you guys off? What did they did? Uh, I mean, part of it, they just got hot from three early, you know, and then you let teams shoot like that early, they get comfortable throughout the game, and so you know, when guys get comfortable, they usually. You know, do things that you know may not be on the scouting report, stuff like that, and they, you know, they start start getting in their bag a little bit, um, just gaining confidence. And you know, players with confidence at this level get harder and harder to guard. So it's just being able to get teams more uncomfortable at the beginning of the game. All right, eight point game at halftime, but then they got a five ball run um, to start the second half, and then that's when they said they they opened up the margin. So what did you see? It kind of got away from you guys at that point. Yeah, I mean. Like Spence kind of touched on it a bit, they had, they had some confidence. Um, credit to them. They made a lot of good plays. Um, when they were open, they knocked, knocked the shots in. Um, they shot the ball really well, uh, made plays they needed to make plays. And yeah, they're a good team, made a lot of plays the entire game, it felt like. And like you said, each time each time we made a run, they had an answer. And yeah, credit to them. You guys have lost five out of six now. I'm looking forward to this weekend. How do you kind of prepare the shift? Just get better at practice. We have a have a kind of a mantra: of start again. You know, we know we're five out of six. We don't we don't look back. We look forward. You know, we carry that into a great practice tomorrow. Yeah, you guys, you, you guys were uh, eight of twenty-seven collectively from deep as a team. Um, why, why, why was the free ball ball better for you guys? I mean, you were two or five. You're high. Yeah. So like, why were you guys collectively as a team? You know, yeah. if. That's that one question. If, if we had an answer to that, I, I would love, I'd love to know the answer to that. I mean, some days the shots just, just aren't falling. Um, felt like, felt like shoot around. We shot it great. Shot it really good yesterday. Um, everyone still has confidence to let it rip, and the shots just didn't go in the basket. Um, obviously, we pride ourselves in shooting the three ball efficiently, and tonight was not one of those nights. You got anything else? Hi. Right. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Well, so is it one of those situations where? Where's some of those shots from USC happening? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Like, I feel like tonight's one of those nights. Whatever shots we could have got to fall, every every extra shot we could have got to fall would have been great. Uh, maybe that kills one of their runs, gives us some momentum to make. Maybe one more made shot turns into two or three. We get on a run, and the game changes. But you can't really go back and change that. So we're gonna keep preparing, do the same thing we do, and make sure we come to next game with a great game plan and confident to come out here and protect home court. Do you kind of say, well, maybe we need to concentrate more on the conference tournament? I think we're going to concentrate one day at a time, one game at a time, one practice at a time. Um, we're going to come in tomorrow. Whatever plan the coaches lay out in front of us, we're going to attack it with 100% of what we have. We're going to believe in the plan. Um, we're going to trust the plan and show up each day to get better. Hopefully that carries into the next game and go one game, one day at a time. Michael Jones had a really nice No, we've seen it before. He's got he's got a little bounce, especially off especially off two feet. Um, now we've seen that athleticism before. He just you know pulls it out sparingly. Okay. Awesome, thank okay. you guys. All right. you, coach. Thank you, thank you. I thought Oregon uh, their players made a lot of plays. Um, shot the heck from the three point line. Uh, I did think they were comfortable, but they were comfortable for a reason. They're they're quick. They're athletic. When we tried to give ground. Um, they're able to knock in those shots, and so it's a fine line between trying to make them uncomfortable and then giving up direct line drives to the basket. Uh, I did think our guys look in the huddles before the game. Halftime was good. Uh, they were excited to play the game, but it was a game where our execution wasn't where it needed to be. I thought we had some good looks. I thought we took some ill-advised shots, but um, the momentum uh, you know, maybe middle of the first half, or certainly the second half, was just never able to shift. And uh, we were never able to capitalize on getting any kind of continuous stops or continuous scores on the offensive end. So, Coach, speaking of halftime, so you guys are down eight, halftime, kind of manageable. 
But then they get like a five over on the start the second half and now they're up 13 and then they extended to 17. So do you feel like that's where it kind of got away from you? Yeah, I mean, it was consistently through the second half. But yeah, the start of it was um, a couple turnovers, maybe a little vice shot. They made plays. Um, and again, I, I do give them a ton of credit. They're very, very talented. They're very skilled. They shot the heck out of it. Yeah, we did. Uh, I thought our bigs did a good job trying to be physical. We double teamed him at times. Um, he's a really good player, very talented. Uh, you know, rebounded the ball well. He said, um, "Yeah, great size, great skill," and they do a nice job getting him touches. But I did think our guys battled. Uh, the three-point line was more of a, a defining stat than than the inside presence. Who is that? Tracy. Yeah, I mean the first half he was he was off the charts, you know, and we had we had no answer. He's he is a good shooter. We respected him as a shooter, but I thought he got uh, clean looks. I thought our closeouts were a little bit short. There was a couple times we didn't get a high hand up uh, early in switches. There was uh, one time in transition we didn't locate him, and then his confidence built early on. Scored from three, uh, four out of five in the first half, and got to the paint as well. So um, certainly disappointed. Yeah, no, he's healthy and it's just coach's decision trying to get, uh, you know, the rotations and uh, based on practice and performance, trying to get the right pieces out there. Obviously, uh, I'm not doing that effectively enough, but he's available. Um, yeah, and then just kind of, you know, looking ahead to Saturday against Oregon State, kind of you guys, I'm not sure you guys lost it or not, I think it's three or something, but what is the key to kind of, kind of flipping that script and, and kind of getting a win after having you, having you yeah, we have a, a locker room full of grown men, and we go to work tomorrow. And uh, players and coaches, we develop a game plan, we execute the game plan. Uh, we don't try and lick our wounds. We don't try and feel sorry for ourselves. We get back up off the mat, and we come out ready to play a great game on Saturday. And then just when you kind of evaluate a program like Oregon State, you know, I've seen them really beat them on the road up there in Corvallis. In terms of scouting, how much how much of it is a function of kind of reevaluating what you did? Combination of both. We'll, we'll certainly our game against them. We'll, we'll rely on that for a lot of the the tape and the eval. But the reality is, there's been a lot of games since that time. So uh, we'll look at trends of uh, how their guys are playing, what offenses they're running, what they're doing defensively, um, and in a lot of ways reevaluate the scanner report. A lot of times when we do that, we'll come back to a similar type scanner report, and I would expect that. But um, We'll dig into it. Uh, I'll dig into it starting tomorrow, um, and my staff has already been doing that. Hey, Coach, uh, two more home games um, here at Naples. How much of an emphasis do you put on that, especially the last one being senior day and uh, that on the bay also? So how much emphasis on getting these two, at least these two home games? Yeah, I mean, my job is to win basketball games, and uh, it's uh, – home or away um, uh, honestly doesn't matter in my mind and I'm certainly not going not looking ahead to um, future games be beyond Saturday and uh, I need to do a better job uh, in executing that part of my job and I'm going to do everything I possibly can to do that Ask Angela's question you guys, there, there are moments where you guys were able to go on a bit of a run and kind of close the gap a bit and they just kind of kept batting you away what were you guys doing to maybe close the gap, and then what were they doing to kind of counter that? Yeah, yeah I don't, I don't, I think it was, there's probably a wide variety of things there. I mean, the, the, the threes tended to be daggers that they were hitting, you know, just kind of ended any little runs we had, and they hit so many of them, and they're spread out throughout, especially that second half. Um, you know, offensively, I, I felt like we were going to be able to get some good looks, and um, as much as anything, I think our, uh, some of the good looks, and maybe uh, good opportunities, maybe turn into a turnover, the good look turn into a miss. And that was actually as much of a momentum killer as much as uh, missing the shot. I mean, I guess missing the shot, but uh, it was them hitting the shots. And I thought we had an opportunity on the offensive end maybe to get more momentum, and we were not able to do that. Awesome. Thank you.
Thank you guys. Thank you.